many YouTubers actually show themselves right when they wake up when they film a morning clip other than me. Mm. <laughs> my mouth garden. <laughs> the doggies want to go outside and have breakfast. The doggies want to go outside and have breakfast and I want to... I don't have any coffee. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, well, we'll figure something out. Let's get dressed and take these babies out. Someone's getting comfy. Morning. Really regretting putting on this particular shirt right now because it feels extra short today and not into it. I found a bird shirt. It's clean. We're gonna wear it for the morning. Okay, let's just tidy up our hair a little bit, brush our teeth, wash the crusties out of our eyes, and then we go for a walk with the ducks. If you don't re-wet your toothbrush after you put your toothpaste on, that's weird to me. Don't forget to wash your mouth guard. It's gonna get stinky and gross. I made the mistake of doing that once when I was new to the night guard and did not realize how absolutely rank that thing gets. It is, it'll be gross. So if you have a night guard, make sure you're, you're cleaning it. It's gross. Last step, second to last step, deodorant, antiperspirant, so we don't sweat. You will not find native here because I need that aluminum. We're ready, time to go walk the dogs. All right, let's check the temp, boys. 23 degrees, let's get cozy. My mitts. Wintertime pro tip if you're a dog walker, pre-open your poop bags before you leave the house. It'll make your life so much easier and keep your hands so much warmer. I can never get these open outside in the cold. I can't even get them open in the house when it's warm. So if my hands aren't freezing while I'm trying to do it, even better for me, right? Most important part of our 4 a.m. dog walk, a little headlamp. Because this neighborhood be getting dark. We don't have street lamps. Actually, maybe this morning we'll walk down where there are street lamps and I'll show you all our cute Christmas lights. Let's make sure this works. Quick side note, I scored these little Sorrel Winter Walking Booties for $35 on Amazon because they were the last size left and they're pretty freaking great. They're normally like $130. Okay, the dogs are yelling at me. Christmas. Brace is pooping. Back. It's about 5 a.m. now. The dogs have been fed. Very happy. Um, yesterday after work, I just kind of absolutely rotted and did nothing. And I was like, I am relaxing to the ultimate. And that's what I did. I played video games. I watched YouTube videos. I watched a Christmas movie. It was great. But now I'm like paying for that. Cause usually I love to wake up and not have to clean the kitchen before I like make a coffee. But now we have to do that. So before coffee happens, we must tidy the kitchen, unfortunately. It's not that bad. Just some dishes and some just clutter. So cold. All right.
Alrighty, things have been tidied. I'm ready for coffee. We're all out of espresso, and I'm upset about it. And yes, I use pre-ground espresso because I can't afford a cool, fancy espresso machine. Would I like to have one? Absolutely, yes. However, the good ones are really expensive. I'd probably be fine with one of those like Breville ones with like a grinder in it. That'd probably be okay. Still really pricey. Still way out of the price range of my life right now. So I've just been drinking Lavazza Crema y Gusto. It's good for like milk-based preparations, AKA lattes, eggnog lattes. But I think, I don't know if I have any left. I got a pack of three last time, which was honestly like a year ago. So no, it's not very fresh, but it does the job. So please excuse me, but we're gonna have to turn on the big light. I apologize in advance. Prepare your eyes, big light coming on. It's too much. <laughs> Now that my feet are absolutely freezing from standing on that step ladder from outside, I have determined we are out of espresso. It is a pressurized basket. Can I just put shitty regular coffee in there? Let's try it and see what happens. I just know this is gonna taste like absolute shit, but maybe because we're gonna be putting eggnog in it, it'll be okay, right? We can hope. This is not nearly fine enough to be espresso, but we'll make it work. We'll be using my adorable little mushroomy mug that I got from World Market. How cute is that? Holds a ton of eggnog, which is what I want right now. If you actually know what you're doing when it comes to making coffee and espresso, look away, because you're not gonna be happy about what's happening here. You're not, you're just simply not. We got that good, good, the Kemp's golden eggnog. This shit is so good. I have drank more eggnog this year than I think I have just like in my entire life combined simply because I discovered the joy of eggnog lattes. I had to take my hair down because my ponytail was too tight and it hurt my head. You know how it goes. A little bit of nog in the cup, a little bit of nog in the mug. That was disgusting, why'd I do that? Probably have a disease now. Let's steam first before we pull our shitty espresso. struggling. It doesn't know what to do. Oh, it doesn't look terrible. Oh, there it's watery. It was espresso for like a second. What if we just do like a long pull? That's probably good enough. Here we go. It doesn't look terrible. It tastes like coffee. That's drinkable, but the nog is absolutely saving it. I'm just going to add a little bit of hot water to this to increase my amount. A very professional and proper eggnog latte. It hits the spot. It's mostly eggnog. So about this point in the morning, it's 521 now. Usually it's time to just hang out on the computer, play some video games, um, watch a Christmas movie maybe because it's very festive right now. Grant is gone and that's the only reason why I'm able to film this video this morning. And so I'm like, I have the whole house. I can be loud. We can be silly. We can have a dance party, right? Dance party? I kind of feel like doing a fun dance workout, maybe after my coffee, because Christmas songs are bopping. They are bopping. They are high energy. They are fun. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna enjoy this, and then we'll do a Christmas dance workout. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay. It should be illegal to be this cute especially when I'm about to disturb their whole world by doing a dance workout right in front of them. I'm ready for a workout. I've cleared my space. Coffee has been finished. Let's dance, guys. <coughs> oh, brother, this guy stinks! Is this so awkward? Like, it's not fast enough. <laughs> Hi, I'm Renata Bless, I'm your freestyle dance teacher. <sighs> Got a little bit of a 12 minute sweat on. Feeling good, feeling sweaty. Dogs have licked my face from all the salt. <sighs> it's like 6.30 a.m. now. Welcome to life in the dark. This is just how we live. 6.30 a.m., by the way, not p.m. 
That was fun. I really enjoy the Girl with Joe Dan's workouts, but I wish they were longer. Like they're too short and there's too few of them. We need more, Joe. We need more. Maybe we should do another one just for fun. We're doing one more, I've decided. No, <laughs> my battery died during <laughs> the middle of that last one. Now we've had like almost 30 minutes of activity in the morning. I'm feeling good, but I'm sweaty and I'm feeling like I probably need a shower. So let's go and wash our dirty old bodies and get fresh and clean for the day to continue on with our day. I feel like I always hear that you're not supposed to brush your hair. You shouldn't brush your hair when it's dry, but then you shouldn't brush your hair when it's wet. It's like, bros, when do you want me to brush my hair? Like when's the appropriate time? You know, I'll brush it whenever I want. So take that. Why are my legs burning? Good shower. I didn't, I resisted the urge so hard to just stand in there and let the water scald my body. That's my favorite part of a shower. Summer, winter, I don't care about the season. I wanna burn. I wanna see the red bits on my skin. It just feels so good and hot and warm and mm, good. But I didn't today. Let's make some breakfast before I dry my hair. I'm feeling oatmeal because I saw that container of oatmeal this morning and now, or oats, and now I just want oatmeal. So I discovered a new moisturizer recently. In the winter, I get like really, really dry skin and my usual, my usual Crave Oat So Simple water cream doesn't quite cut it in the winter because it gets really, really dry and my face kind of hurts. And so I was like, hey Google, what's a really good thick, rich moisturizing cream? And of course there were all like the really, really high priced ones, like fancy ones that are like 40, $50 a jar. And I was like, you know what, Eucerin. I have all their other creams for my arms and my like skin and stuff. So I was like, let's try their face cream. It's a, a Q10 anti-wrinkle face cream, but it is luxurious. It is thick, it is rich, it is glorious. Smooth, buttery, but not greasy. It takes a little while to like absorb into your skin, but once it does, like I feel ready for the driest days of the winter. And it was only $10 for a jar. And I don't really go through moisturizer that fast because I don't really have a skincare routine. I don't really do much with my skin. For the majority of years of my life, I didn't even wash my face with soap, just water. And I only started needing moisturizers once I started using face wash. So what's up with that, hmm? You tell me. Beauty industry coming, coming to get me. They're like, hey, you should wash your, your dirty, greasy face, you freaking grease ball. And I'm like, my face is fine. But I did it anyway, because I fell into the hype. I was like, let's have a cool, Let's have a nice little skincare routine. And then I did it. And then I was like, oh, my face is dry. What do I need to fix that? Moisturizer. And so many other products, of course, they try to tell you. Starving. For this morning's oatmeal, I just want to put like a ton of shit in it. You know, I want like oatmeal. I want peanut butter. I want almonds. I want chia seeds. No, not chia seeds. I don't know. I just want to like put fun things in it. I want to have like a bowl full of loaded oatmeal. <laughs> Well, I've never screwed up oatmeal, but somehow today I did a little bit. I mean, did I like measure wrong? I'm gonna have to look back and see how much I, how much water I put in. But like, it is so runny. And I was like, what's happening? What did I do? What did I do? So the peanut butter will help thicken it up a little bit. That looks so unappetizing though. <laughs> We're rolling with it, okay? Also, I made too much. What am I doing? Who am I? What's happening? Nice little bowl of sludge. There is a little bit of salt, peanut butter and cinnamon in here and a tiny bit of milk just to like add some milkage. Throw in this unripe banana, some sliced almonds and some hemp hearts. I really love the flavor of hemp hearts. And maybe just to be wild, a little bit of brown sugar because I'm in the mood for a little bit of sweetness. Yum, yum, yum. And voila, breakfast is ready. And that was a great morning so far. It's like 7.40. I've done so much, accomplished so many things already. Uh, there is a hair. Get out of there, please. Oh, that would have made me gag so bad. One time after work, I stopped at McDonald's and got a little burger because I was just like so hungry and really wanted a burger for some reason. And I was driving home, but somehow one of my hairs ended up like in my mouth. Oh, I'm gonna gag thinking about it. And it was like, 
I can't say it. It was like halfway, it was like halfway down. <laughs> Forget the story. We're not talking about it. <laughs> it was a rough drive home for about half an hour. I thought I was gonna have to pull over. I can't even think about it. To this day, I still can't. All right. Thanks for hanging out with me this morning, guys, while I just spend my morning alone with nobody here to bother. Just the dogs and me, the dogs and I. And I think this is a great start for the day and I'm just gonna crush it from here on out. And by that, I mean, I'm probably just gonna hang out, play video games, watch movies, etc., cook food. Now you know what it's like to be a person who wakes up at 4 a.m. even on their days off. It's great, you spend your whole morning in the darkness. The sun is just starting to come up now. I can see a little bit of light out the windows, a little bit of light, check that out, a little bit. Not too much, but enough. So I'm gonna eat my breakfast and just chill for the rest of the day. So thanks for hanging out with me in the morning while I get ready and do things so I don't have to do it alone and feel bored and sad and lonely. That was dramatic. I don't really feel those things. I just go about my morning as usual. It's not really a big deal. <laughs> All right. Okay, thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I'm just uploading all the footage and stuff that I just recorded. And I just wanted to tell you that my oatmeal is actually very delicious even though it looks like garbage. The bananas are a little underripe, but she's still good. She's still good, she's still delicious. She's feeling hearty. She's feeling like I'm gonna be perfectly warmed up for the day. Do you like my new little table lamp that I got? Initially I had a touch lamp here and it had like a clear glass cover. And I discovered after buying that that I am very not okay with just having a light bulb hanging out, blasting me in the eyes. <laughs> And so I would always just cover it with like a small towel to kind of diffuse a little bit. And then it just stopped working. It'll just like turn itself off and on. Like if you touch it to turn it on, just like I don't want to turn it on anymore. So apparently that's a thing that can just happen with touch lamps sometimes. So I said, launch code number two, you're out of here. And I got this cute little guy. Check this out. We don't like a cool light. There's a medium. And then we have a nice warm. I love a nice warm. And then we can turn it down. And then you can kind of see the like, it's just like cool and wavy. I just really like it so much. However, we need some brightness because it's pretty dark in here. Okay, uh, that's it. Yeah, I just wanted to tell you that my oatmeal is really good. And then I had to show you my lamp.